Hi, Joe. Hi. All right, so Joe, we got to prove them another phase because of the overheating situation and the brakes. Uh, we're focusing on the heating right now. We found what? We found a. Uh, I got to talk over this radio, and I have to uh, talk, keep talking really quick. So Google AdSense doesn't make me uh, not be able to monetize this video. Then I don't get any searches. Thank you. Ooh, now you guys know why I talk so much sometimes. No. <laughs> yeah, tell them about. The, tell them what your findings. Let me turn the camera around. Well, I pumped 17 pounds of pressure to it. It held, so we don't have any leaks. Okay, nothing like no that. No leaks. But the, the thermostat, I think, is stuck. And plus, it was a high temp thermostat. It, was, it says 197 on it. I've never seen a 197, so I'm thinking it was a 192. And what are you recommending we put in it? Either 160 or 180. Yeah, we go back and forth. Joe, Joe says 160. I say 180. I'm going to go with Joe's 30 years of experience and, and go with 160 because it's a high desert car. It's a low desert car. This is it's the a low desert car. Sorry, I always say that. <laughs> But the reason you're okay with it running at a 160 temperature, it still is going to have the same amount of power and everything? Yeah. Yeah? yeah as long as the air oil comes up to temp and it's not cold, cold weather. Why does fine. Ford want it at 190 all the time? Why well, it, it's, it was a government thing back when they started emission controls. Okay. Uh, the hotter the engine runs, the, 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 uh, the, the, clean, the cleaner it'll run. So to it prefers to run cooler. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go with the 160 in your car. I uh, mean, if 160 doesn't work, we'll throw a 180 in it. Yeah. I, I just, I just why, would, why would it not work? It's just... If, if the weather gets really cold, like if it gets to zero around here. I don't which, think that's ever uh, happened, nor do, I think, nor do I think he'll be driving his car <laughs> in zero temperatures. Yeah. I, don't th I don't see him going out there. Exactly. So we're going to go with a 160 thermostat, and we're going to test her and see how she runs from there. And then uh, we're going to test the brakes and move on, Bill. So we're on it. I'm, while I'm here, I'm going to replace the, the, the drain pitcock on this thing because it, it's, it's stuck. It, it, I had to fight with it for half an hour just to get the coolant out of it. All right, um, I'm going to give you, give you that one, Bill, because uh, it's been a tough time for you with uh, seeing her drop green fluid on the ground and cough it up. But it was pretty pretty funny post that you're putting out there, Bill. All right, so um, took her for a drive, only a couple times around the block, and she overheated. So we're dealing with it, and uh, we're going to look at the brakes because I'm pushing as hard as I can on the brakes, and it's going another five feet. So. That doesn't make any sense. What is going on with this four, uh, all four disc brakes? So that should not be happening. All right, we're getting it handled, and uh, we got approval today, and we're on it today. We are not wasting any time over here at Mustang Medic on any call. Ever. Ever. <laughs>